is cooking, baby. See all that red stuff down there? When you throw water on top of that, that's gonna be all the charcoal briskets that's gonna, that's all cooked up and ready for you to turn into biochar, all the red stuff in the bottom. So even the stuff that's on the top, that's still burning, um, some of it's not gonna finish, right? Because you don't want the red stuff down there all burning down to ash. So some of the stuff on the top, you're gonna have to reburn later again. But see all that red stuff down there? When you throw the water on it, it's just gonna be turned into charcoal. And that, from there, you take it to the next step to make the biochar. All right, guys. So as you can see, right there, uh, it's burnt down really, really well, right where I wanted it. Those are nice, nice and red underneath. And they're all, most of them, I'm pretty sure they're burnt all the way through. I took a few of the fatter logs off the top and I'm gonna let those continue burning right there on the ground. It'll be just fine right there. And then when I'm finished with this over here, I'll throw them back in the fire pit and they can continue doing their thing. So I'm gonna wet this down now and uh, I'm gonna turn this off now. real hot so it's gonna take a real soaking down because what happens inside inside those coals they're still burning so you really gotta saturate this this here even the bricks around this here because it's real hot and as you can see if you can see between there right you can see all that charcoal now it's just all charcoal and you didn't let it burn You didn't let it burn. If you let it continue burning for too much longer, it would have just turned to ash on you. And again, the ash as well, because like, I, I let it sometimes burn all the way through and just collect the ash because the ash is awesome to you in your garden beds as well, you know? That pot ash is awesome for the soil. But right now we're making biochar. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue soaking this down and cool it off there so I can uh, take it out of there and be able to put these, these logs back in here to continue on burning down. What's up guys? This is the bull. What up, what up? I'm here. I just um, emptied out yesterday's fire pit. The fire pit I had, you know, the, all the stuff I had going, right? So this is all the charcoal in here that I obtained from when I burnt yesterday, right? So, piece of charcoal here, right? So, hey, see how that just snaps? That's how you want to. That's how you want to get your charcoal. Now, what I'm doing, right? I'm gonna eventually inoculate this biochar, right, to activate it, so that I can actually use it, and it'll be it'll be a uh, a plus in my garden and not take away. Because if you destroy your biochar, I mean your 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 uh, burnt up charcoal in there, trying to use it as biochar, it's really not charged up. So you're really t depleting nutrients from from the soils that helps feed your plant. So I'm going to be burning up for the next week or so and just making containers and containers. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna inoculate all of it all at one time. So. Step one at a time, baby, and we'll be back. We'll be back in a few days to you. will be like in a second, but um, I'm going to go and continue burning for the next few days. All a lot of the brush that I have around here. And if I may answer one question for 
for one of my subscribers that asked me if you can use the brush and limbs to to make bio child absolutely and i will personally uh get back to you and let you know that and if you don't see this but definitely so i'm gonna continue on um just making more of this charcoal and when i have what i think i have enough then we'll go ahead and inoculate it and we'll come back and we'll continue with that process hey guys what's up welcome back to the bulls show what up what up we're gonna go ahead and finish off inoculating this biochar for this these chacos that i have right because right now there is there is chaco right so we're gonna go ahead and put all that down here and just let's get it all baby all right, let me let me pull this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, now you can he see my hands themselves. All right, so we have here we get these gloves on here cuz dealing with this charcoal is, you know, get your hands all chacked up. All right, so we have all this charcoal here now. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is this stuff here is all burnt up, right? Dead. So we're gonna bring it to life, right? We're gonna uh, inoculate it. So I'm gonna start off, right? With I'm gonna just use. Actually, let me start off with the flour, right? We're gonna go ahead and feed feed this uh, charcoal give put some nutrients into this uh, biochar right so we're gonna start off with that we stand up a little bit we're gonna get this all up in here right so I could have used a little bit more flour, but I didn't have that. I didn't want to steal all my wife's flour, man, because, you know, she's going to fry some chicken and then she's going to get mad at me. So, actually, that was enough. You know what I mean? We just want to feed. We just want to feed and put some nutrients back in here, all right? We're going to bring this charcoal alive, right? All right, so now I am going to add some coffee grind right we're gonna add some coffee grinds in here as well right give some give it some nitrogen give some nitrogen here to this biochar all right so what you want to do is you want to just add as, as, as much as much nutrients, right, that you can back so so the soil, I mean, so the biochar will actually be inoculated and to absorb all these nutrients that we're giving it, right? All right, so now this, oh, oh, I just spilled a whole bunch. This is some black cow. We're gonna put some black cow in here. I just dumped all kinds of stuff here. Hold on a second. Just toss it in there. All right. I can already feel it already it feels so healthy already you know it, it changed totally with just a few things i've added to it already has changed the biology 
in here already. Feeling so good, feeling so good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna go ahead and add some compost right here from the Bulls Garden. So it was screened, so it has no, uh, let's dump all that up in there, all right? Yeah, all these microbes and all this back there to feed the bacteria that's gonna be, be formed in here soon when I add some more stuff to it. This here, right? You wanna keep it, you wanna keep it moist, right? I'm gonna store this because I'm not gonna be using this right now at all. So I'm gonna be storing this. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna store it. I'm gonna store it in bags and uh, some breathable bags of some sort, or, you know, we get some oxygen somehow, but I'm gonna store it. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna put it in my greenhouse in some bags and whatnot, just to keep it out of the elements and stuff. But uh, this here, I was sometime, sometime around in, um, Probably in February, I'm gonna distribute it to the garden beds of my choice there later on. I think I'm gonna be putting in like cucumber beds and whatnot to see. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bed right with the biochar, and I'm gonna do a bed without it just to see if we can um, see any difference, right, in the vegetables that grow this coming spring. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of worm castings, right? Not too much, just about that much right there. I'm trying to do this with no cost as much as possible. All right. Oh my goodness. I'll be right back. I'm a hot mess. Um, I had some water here from my pond. Uh, fish emotion, right? Right from the bull's garden, from his fish pond. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more because I didn't realize I hit it and I uh, got all spilled. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So we got some nice fishy water here. And I'm gonna add some of this in here to here, all right? Fish emulsion. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of nitrogen fixed water. All right. All right. Now, I ain't no pro at nothing, right? But. I try to get involved in everything that I can when it gets to do with any type of uh, garden activity. So it's biochar, baby. It's just do it, right? Just do do something, right? You can you can get a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and as you learn every year, right? You compound, you compound all your knowledge that you learn year after year from everybody. All right, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some molasses, right? So we're gonna go ahead and feed, feed these microbes in here and have some food for this bacteria All right.
this is a lot of fun, right? You uh, gotta try all kinds of different advantages, right, in your garden. Um, try to make your soil the best, the best possible soil that you can make for your plants, right? Ain't nothing like a happy gardener, right? When he sees and he looks at uh, at his uh, work and he sees those vegetables coming in versus, you know, ha having an unhealthy plant that has nothing to feed off of. And so if you don't put the work in to trying to give the, your, your plants the best soil possible, you know what I mean? People out there, you try to find the best plant, right? Try to Try to make the best soil, right, that you can, and all your plants will be beautiful. All right, this biochar now has been infused. It's uh, inoculated, and now it's time for this uh, uh, charcoal, right? To suck up, suck up all those nutrients that I just fed it, right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna bag this stuff up and I'm gonna just put it off to the side for when I need it. I don't need it right now because uh, everything's already planted. I wanna put this stuff here into some new garden bed. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Again, you want to, uh, some more talk on it and stuff like that, check out some other channels there where people uh, that are making biochar have more knowledge than the bull. I'm going to just bring it to you plain and simple the way I know, and I hope you learn something from that, all right? God bless. Take care. I just realized I had this empty trash bin over here. Now this stuff here, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a lot more compost and all that to it and just let it sit, right? It's when I need it, but for right now, I'm not ready to do that, so this is just trying to store it. I got it all stored up in here. I'm gonna keep it in here for about a month, right? So, so all the biochar can just soak up all those nutrients that it was just fed, right? And after about a month or so, I'm gonna uh, sometime in probably, I'll probably give it to like uh, January, right? The beginning of January. Then I'm gonna mix it up with all the compost, a lot of the compost that I have here. Then I'll use that right to uh put in my garden beds and uh let the plants enjoy it all right y'all take care